everybody. In this video, I want to show you how to install a prism on a Tetrix Hero model. Now this Hero model is the Mini Max, and you can build this Hero model from one of the Tetrix Max robot building sets. In our builder's guide, this robot is typically controlled with an RC controller, our joystick gamepad, but what I've done here is install our brand new prism controller on this robot. I've also added a few extra parts. Um, for instance, I added a little bit more structure down here at the bottom so I could attach a line finder sensor and an ultrasonic distance sensor. Um, I also, uh, if you have built this from our uh, building instructions, you, um, you would have located the switch on this side. Um, so in order for it to reach the prism controller, I moved it around to this side. Uh, another thing that I did was install one of our Tetrix Prime grippers on the right arm of Mini Max. This is the Mini Max model, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. And it's got one servo that is here on the shoulder, so the arm will move up and down. It's got another servo here on the gripper to open and close the gripper. And you'll also notice another sensor I've mounted here on top of the gripper. That is a color sensor. Um, also, we have a pivoting head, so the head has a servo attached, a geared servo, and the head will move left and right. And this arm right here is just free swinging. And it's driven by two DC motors here and here, and then um, an omni wheel on the front and the back so it will pivot back and forth nicely. Now the neat thing about this robot is it's got several sensors on it. This one in the center here is a speech recognition sensor so we can talk to it and we can tell Minimax what to do with just, just a voice control. Now it's connected to the prism controller. Um, this is a UART sensor meaning it's a, it needs to be connected to the serial port. and. Prism has a UART port right here, serial port, so we've connected to it. The color sensor, which is over the gripper, is an I2C sensor, and we've connected it to the I2C port on Prism, which is right here. The other two sensors are digital sensors. This is an ultrasonic sensor, meaning it sends out a sonar beam and it's reflected back, and so what, what it can do is it can sense obstacles in its path. This one down here is a line finder sensor. And it can tell the, dif the difference between a reflective and a non-reflective surface. So we're going to use this sensor to follow a line. So we're going to show an application here. It's just a little simple program that I wrote using three different colored balls. These are just foam practice golf balls. And what we'll do is um, I'll start the program, and then I will um, command Minimax with voice commands. So I'll tell him to raise his arm up and down. We can tell him to uh, move his head left and right, and we can also give him a command to go. Um, so what I will be doing is I'll load the ball in the gripper, and when I do so, the color sensor will, will read the color of the ball. Once the color is red, then the, we'll tell the uh, robot to lower his arm, and then we'll tell Minimax to go. And you can see I've got three lines here on this foam board surface and three cylinders down here. One is red, one is green, and one is blue. And so depending on what color Minimax sees in his gripper, he'll pick the appropriate line. He'll traverse the line using the line finder. And, we'll, and while we're traversing the line, we'll also be looking for this obstacle in our path. And I've programmed the robot to traverse the line and stop 15 centimeters in front of the obstacle and then drop the ball. So let's go ahead and run and see what happens. We'll start with the red ball first. Now the, the uh, speech recognition sensor is, is um, what we will use to command a Minimax. So let me go ahead and restart the program. I just reset it by pressing the red button and then we can restart the program pressing the green button. And we're ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask Minimax to raise his arm. Now, the speech sensor has what they call a trigger word, and it's a word that you have to say first before you give it the actual command. And the manufacturer of this sensor, the trigger word is HICEL, H-I-C-E-L. 
C-E-L-L. -L. And you can see when I said that, the red light came on. And when the red light comes on, that means it's ready for a command. So let's see what happens. I sell. Up. Up. I sell. Up. Up. Okay. You can see the color sensor here. I'll go ahead and load the ball. I sell. Down. Let's see if we can get him to turn his head. I sell. Left. 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 There we go. I sell. I sell. Right. Okay, there we go. Now that he's got the ball, he recognizes the color. The, 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 the ball is red, so you can see the red LED is turned on. Now I'll give him a command to go, and he should rotate, find the red line, or find the line that leads to the red cylinder, and then drop the ball. I sell. I sell. Go. Okay. I'm going to reposition the robot. I've got a mark on my table here. And run the program again. And this time we'll use a different colored ball. So this time I'll use the blue ball. I sell. Up. Up. I sell. Up. 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 Sometimes you have to tell him two or three times. So now I'm going to put the blue ball under the color sensor. I sell. Down. I sell. Go. All right, found the blue cylinder. We'll move him back to start. And we'll restart the program. Now this time we'll use the green ball. And the green cylinder is on the center line. I sell. Up. Up. I sell. Down. I sell. Go. And we found the green. So you can see we were able to recognize all three colors using the color sensor. We were able to navigate the line using the line finder. We were able to sense the obstacle in our path using the distance sensor. And then we were also able to command Minimax using speed. So we have a lot of sensors going on here. It's one of the neat things you can do with the Prism controller. And uh, so you can, add, you can even add other sensors if you wanted to. Um, you could even make this a little more difficult if you wanted to by um, maybe constructing a, a basket or, or a... Um, Something or a bucket or something at the end, and having the Minimax robot drop the drop the right colored balls in the right colored bins. So possibilities are really endless. Happy coding.